Tis the drink pirate. Aren't we no trying here? Now the first mate will be wrapping up all me booty. Says this is the one I have to open first. And I have to do it dressed as a pirate. Because it's something piratey. So here goes. Ah. Oh. This is just what I need. <laughs> Look. Ah. And there is a message. A message on the back. Dear Arduino Trike, this be from Josh, age seven. He saw a pirate flag in one of your videos. Ah! Here she be, me Jolly Roger. And he wanted to get you some more pirate stuff. He is mad about pirates. Sign Tilly. Well, what are we going here? <laughs> if I can get into it, I might have to use my trusty cutlass. Oh, maybe not. Well, we've got a pirate eye patch. Whoa. With no elasticy. We got what looks like maybe some doubloons. Will these be a bit small. Not so much doubloons. More like singloons, if you ask me. Get rid of that thing. We've got a pirate pendant with skulls. And we got some sort of a gun. A gun that goes click. Ah. Just what I need to complete me pirate's outfit. A dangly earring. Well. Oh, that's not all. Here on Josh's, we've got another present. Oh, ah, now that that is what they call doubloons. <laughs> Thank you very much, Josh. It is much appreciated. Well that's quite enough of him. Call yourself a pirate. I'm more scared of Hillary Clinton. Anyway, the first present I'm going to unwrap is the only one that's not actually wrapped. It's still sealed in its envelope and I've got no idea who it comes from or what it is. It feels like a book and Yep, it's a whoa, it's a book and a Christmas card. Ah. The Cult Files. True stories from the extreme edges of religious belief. <laughs> it's an ex-library book. <laughs> and it's been stamped with drawn. I wonder why. Glasgow City Council Cultural and Leisure Services. Well, they obviously didn't like this book, so there must be something really juicy in there. I'll have to read that. So, who's it from? Let's have a look at the card. To Arduino Tronic, wishing you a very happy Christmas season. Silver, S I L V A. Well, thank you very much, Silver, whoever you are. 
That book is much appreciated. It might well actually make the basis of a good video about cults. Right. And what have we got next? Ah. Well, I've got a feeling I might know what this is. Because someone was threatening to send me this and it's cold. And there's polythene inside it. <laughs> God, this is well wrapped. First mate did a too good a job here. <laughs> right. This little BC. is in fact an Italian salami with truffles and very nice they are too all the way from Italy courtesy of a gentleman called would you believe Giorgio sent me an email threatening to send me that and he sent it to me what have we got next Another mystery package. And it's a packet within a packet. Oh, still got the envelope on it. Hmm, that means someone hasn't looked to see what it is. Could be almost anything in here. It's dangerous accepting presents over the internet. Bubble wrap. They're not pulled too hard, whatever it is, might be a little delicate. And there's a note. I'll read the note first before I finish unwrapping this thing. Happy Christmas, Malcolm. I love your videos, so you deserve a present. I make these myself and always give them away as I'm a useless businessman. Keep the videos coming in 2016. All the best, Cliff. Okay. I guess really, I should have got my trusty cutlass out after all to disembowel these presents. What on earth is this? Really difficult to try and decide what it is, even half. Ah. Oh, how sweet! <laughs> Cliff has made me a heart with some beads in it and some copper wire. There's a copper wire spiral. You know, I used to have a friend that was heavily into all the new age stuff. And he used to make these things called cloud busters, which had copper wire and aluminium shavings and Lord knows what else in them. And this looks rather like one of those. Well, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it, Cliff, but thank you all the same. Now we've got the only gift that actually turned up wrapped. Don't be confused by the fact that it's red wrapping paper and um, not only was it the only one that's wrapped and with a, a nice ribbon but also unless there's a note inside I've got no idea who this is from ah. what we have here is aftershave. Well, whoever sent me that, and it's a really good brand, it's Paul Smith. Whoever sent me that, thank you very much. That is very much appreciated. Totally anonymous, I think. Let's just have a look inside the paper. No notes. So it's obviously a gift from an anonymous admirer. Okay. 
biggest presents of the lot. And more guys what this is. Feels very strange. Oh good grief. And there's another card inside here. Hang on a second. Card. And it's not a Christmas card, it's a thank you card. <laughs> well what we've got is some candle powered Chinese lanterns. I don't know how many. Ten. Ten Chinese lanterns. The sort that go up in the sky when you, you light a candle underneath them. And the card that comes with them says, How about reenacting the Phoenix lights? Question mark, exclamation mark, and it's signed, Jeff. <laughs> well, actually, that's an idea for a video. Maybe in the spring when the weather's a bit better. At the moment, there's howling gales around the place, but yeah. Give it a go. And here we have the last present. Last present of the lot. And I'm told that this is possibly the most expensive, although I've got no idea what it is. Nice Rudolph. Oh, another card. Nice Rudolph wrapping paper. I know what it says it is, but I'm not sure I believe it. It says it's a graphic card. And a GT730 no less, which is quite an expensive one. Box has obviously been opened, so I'm not 100% sure what is in this box is in fact a graphics card let's have a look oh well it is it is indeed a graphics card and is it what it says on the box oh my word it is wow it's a NVIDIA GeForce GT730 card made by Asus. Lord, someone spent some money on me. And what does the card say? No, wrong card. Where do I just put the card? There's a card in here. Mm. Well, maybe there wasn't. Oh yes, there was. There it is. Ah, here we go. Dear Arduino Tronic, here is my old video card, only nine months old. Hope you'll put it to good use and make some more Blender in huge letters tutorials. Merry Christmas from Roger. Well, thank you very much, Roger. That is actually a much better graphics card than the one I've got at the moment. So maybe I will be able to use the Cyples renderer in Blender. I'll stick it in the PC sometime over the next few days and we'll find out, shall we? And if we do, I promise I'll release a tutorial dedicated to yourself. Well, that's it. Those are all the presents that I had from subscribers and uh, I also had at the end of the day I had $55 worth of cash um, some of which I spent on a pair of uh, stereo, cordless stereo headphones and a mic and the rest of which I've spent on a new tripod 
which you can't see because it's holding the camera up. <laughs> I've also got an old tripod and um, I've got a video light on the way. Um, that's coming from Amazon, hasn't yet arrived, but as soon as it does, the second tripod will be put to use basically as a lighting stand because it's an old, nasty, rusty piece of kit. And, uh, yeah, well, I've got to say thank you all very much for the cash, the presents and the cards, and I'm hoping you're going to have as good a Christmas as I'm having. Thank you very much. Bye. Well, you could subscribe to Arduinotronic or just go jump in a lake.